a ginormous tee shot. Frank, what does the shot into this first green look like? Well, it's back a little bit up the hill. Uh, bunkers left and right, really the, the biggest concern. But a well-flighted shot to this three-level green will be well rewarded. He's making the game look very simple right now. See it, hit it, and he's got it right on track. Not a gimme, but well within his range. What a tremendous display of golf this has been. Certainly throwing an eagle against the field, too. We've seen it all. Birdies, eagles, just blitzing the field from start to finish. Ready to tee off here at the second hole. Quite a view from up here, Frank. Once again, uh, big elevated tee. It's hard to imagine they have a tee that high up, but uh, that'll shorten that 445 yards. Obviously, it's a dog leg left. Um, you've got to be careful if you hit driver and two straight because then you can run out. Um, a nice tee shot in the middle there, and then you've got a, a relatively straight shot into this sort of par four green, obviously going a little bit back up the hill. And once again, a little bit like that opening hole, sort of different tiers on that green try and make sure that you're on the right one wow frank he is dialed in yeah that was just some shot on that easy birdie just a couple of feet frank this is the kind of start every player wants yeah swinging it well certainly hit the ball in the right place there and uh yep good thing too he's actually putting well now on to the third first of the short holes here at wolf creek Uphill shot, Frank? Yes, yeah, so it's going to play a little longer because of that. Uh, then it's 227 yards off the back tee. Hard to imagine you have a par three in amongst this desert. And really, that's all it is. Tee and green. There's not much in between. Well protected, as you can see by those bunkers. And uh, this green a little smaller than uh, what you'd like for a hole that's around that 230-yard mark. Frank, this is a player in full flight right now. It looks too easy right now. Here at the fourth, 383 yards from the back tee. It's a dog leg right, but Frank, looking at all of those bunkers, you could really make a mess of this hole if you stray. You can. That's why you've got to simplify it. Just something there that's going to find the fairway. Even like three wood and a wedge, that's really all this hole's going to require. Avoid the canyons on the left and uh, in the desert, as well as just, I don't know how many bunkers there is on the right side. So a little bit of fair up the left, find that there, and, and really, you, uh, you should be looking at a birdie putt. That is classy. And the chance of going in. Now this for birdie came away with par in the previous round. Just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. We're in the desert, partner. I need water. You're going to get it here, Rich. Par five second. I've got a nice stream that runs down the left side, as well as cutting the fairway. There's a crop of uh, some three bunkers down that right side. I want to avoid that. But, you know, Rich, this hole isn't too long. Under 500 yards. Not even going to play that long. So very reachable. Good tee shot. Good lie. And now a good chance to take advantage here on this hole. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. Really well done. Just inside of five feet. Here. And getting ready for the puck. There it is for Eagle. Here at the sixth, 447 yard par four. Pretty good hole, Frank. Yeah, probably a layup hole, too, for the longer hitters. Um, something out there around two, the 280, 290 yard mark to make sure you don't go it in the stream. Obviously, it's a dog leg right, as you can see. The canyon on both sides is sort of uh, well defined, so you know where not to go. Second shot plays a little bit back up the hill to a, uh, a green, once again, that's anything other than flat. Uh, it's fun. You've got to make sure you get that ball on the right tier if you want to have a birdie putt here. That is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for a birdie. Yeah, it's a full melody now. And he has it. A good putt redeems all. Well, everybody loves the short par four. And here we have one, Frank, just 302 yards, the seventh hole. 
in this hole is anything other than straightforward, Rich. Uh, huge drop off at the front of the screen that is surrounded by water. So it's going to be a layup off the tee, really, to try and get the right yardage. This green is very, very, uh, it's not very deep, but it's extremely wide. The hardest thing is to try and get a flat line with uh, whatever problem you decide to hit off the tee and get the right yardage. Otherwise, that green actually might be a little elusive, even though this is a very short hole. Well, that's just a case of not focusing right there. What a lapse in concentration. Good roll. Par 3-8, 248 yards down to the green. What a hole. Yeah, maybe you put your two hands together, make a little prayer. You might make two, but uh, make three here and run to the next tee. This is uh, it's just a gorgeous par 3, yeah, but it is, it is tough. Um, every bit as uh, tough as it, what it is pretty, as a matter of fact. Had a birdie here yesterday in their close. Great opportunity for another one. These putts keep the round together. Set to round out the front side here at Wolf Creek with a par four. Fun hole for the big hitter too. They can really take advantage of this. The last fairway bunker down there on the right side is just over 300 yards to get over it. And uh, longer hitters could nearly drive it in the green side bunker on the right. So just tee it up there. You find desert golf for a reason. Enjoy it. Just have a little flick in here. Chance too. Have a little birdie at the end of your front nine. Beautiful display of ball striking today. Really in control. And that's another GIR green in regulation. Continues to amaze yet another birdie, and what a day it's been. Well, that was a nearly flawless performance on the front side, but Frank, we know it's a In the fairway here at the 10th, nice way to start off the back nine. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special. It should be pretty good right there. On the safe side. <laughs> Terrific golf shot. And now that for an easy birdie. So a tester from four feet. In the hole, the birdie. We're here at the downhill par three, 11th hole. Frank gets 215 yards from the back tee. This hole uh, certainly is not for the faint of heart. When you look at that tee shot, you think, oh my God, what do I do from here? But remind yourself, it's 215 yards and really only about 160, 170 yards to green grass again. But it's 215 yards. That should be the club that you're trying to pick. Green's big enough, just persuade yourself. Try not to look at the canyon in the desert. There is a green down there. The hole is playable. Wow, he got robbed, Frank. No, oh, it's like kissing your mother-in-law. Trying to stay steady, make a par. Well, considering the lead that he has on the rest of the field, a par is all you need. Par 5, 12, and Frank, another reminder that Wolf Creek can really be intimidating it can water down the left uh, they'll take a huge dent off your scorecard uh, a lot of fairway down the right somehow find that this par five can be reachable and two there's still trouble to the right of this green if you get a little bit cavalier this without doubt the longest green on the golf course it's 55 yards from front to back looks like he's going to have a go at it here at the par five his second shot Oh, this is right at it. Beautiful shot. That is tight. Unbelievable. That is one to save it for the rest of the round. Well done. Now to the 
par five, 12. Pretty big hole with a really big green. And a really good uh, blue area to the left, called water there. That's to be avoided off uh, this tee, that's for sure. A good try drive that avoids all of that. And then the, the hole is certainly reachable, but uh, as you can see, water creeps in again back right on this hole. So just don't get too cavalier here. Um, a five wouldn't be the worst score. I know you want better, but uh, believe me, seen many of sixes and sevens racked up here at 12. Frank looks like maybe the greatest bunker player of all time right there. Well, he's making a name for himself today. You could certainly put him up there with Gary Flash, Severiano Ballesteros. That was just a great bunker shot. Now to the 14th hole, and Frank, this is probably the best par four here at Wolf Creek. Well, it's certainly the hole that they take the most photographs on, uh, Rich, and you can see why. Great vantage point of the whole golf course. Uh, the hole's just sort of littered with bunkers down the left side, so you know where not to go once again. Go to the right side of that. Uh, the hole just keeps sort of hooking around that left side. And it plays under 450 yards. It's fine. Just sort of draw it a little off the tee, draw it a little into the green, and you'll be fine. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. Good chance now for a birdie. That was an outstanding play. Well, it's almost a guarantee there after that shot. Birdie here yesterday. Trying to do it again today. Everybody loves him. Birdie on the car. Now to the short par three, 15th hole here at Wolf Creek. What is this, Frank? Just a wedge or a nine iron? That's all, Rich. But it's very tempting to get greedy here. And uh, well, you pay the price, obviously, if you miss the miss the the green on the left down on those bunkers because they're a good six, seven feet below the level of the green. But uh, with a wedge or a nine iron, he doesn't know anything to play. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Rich, that just adds insult to injury to the rest of the field. Another birdie, and the gap even wider. A sensational performance. Excellent looking shot here. Drivable par four, not for most in this field, but for this guy, yes, he has just knocked it on. What a shot. This one has a good line. Oh, he's going to love it. That was good. That was miles away. Out of the 17, par five here at Wolf Creek Golf Club. A dog leg left. Tee shot obviously has to be uh, played short of that, that creek down there. It's still going to be a reachable hole, even though this hole's sort of around the 550, 560 mark. But because you've got to play short of that, that uh, stream, it's going to leave a lengthy second shot, and you've got to get the distance right on the button. That's a ginormous tee shot. Frankie could make Eagle right here with a really good approach shot. Yeah, well, well within his reach, too. And, Rich, if we just uh, sit back and relax here, I think we're going to see perhaps a very good look at Eagle coming up. Really good distance control there, and well to his strengths. Frank, it's one thing to jumpstart your round. This would ignite the round. Yeah, you don't normally see two par fives back to back, so the chances of having consecutive Eagles is, is so rare. Now the closing hole here at Wolf Creek. Frank, what's ahead of us? You could try and drive at this green, but there's too much trouble, really, Rich. Even though this hole's just over 300 yards, um, it's very ambitious to try and drive across that water. Some might try. Most people try and hit a tee shot, 240, 250 yard mark, and of course, you do the maths, you're only going to have 60 or 70 yards in, and uh, well, they want you to finish on a good note. So good drive in the fairway here, or three wood. Pitch it on the green, make a three. And just an amazing display. The records continue to fall. 
there you have it. Round three is finished, and it was a good one, Frank. Yeah, after three rounds in, uh, you really could start to see who could take home the trophy when it's all said and done. Great play, though, up until this point. Uh, round four should be an absolute thriller.